Hi, I'm Jennifer of Celtic Knot Crochet, and today we're going to share with you another edition of Making It With My Minis. We'll be making this fun plarn ball, and we'll be showing you how to make plarn, which is yarn made from recycled plastic bags and plastic tablecloths. So let's get started. Today we're going to be making this fun plarn ball and I'd like to show you here are my minis. This is Kelly, Hi. Jocelyn, and Catherine and they all know how to crochet very well and we like to do a lot of recycle and upcycle projects so today we're going to be showing you in this video how to take these plastic bags from various stores, grocery stores, discount stores and cut them down so that you have a nice long string that you can crochet with. So for this project you'll need about 10 grocery store bags. You can also use plastic tablecloths. Of course, use them for a party, rinse them off outside with a hose or wipe them down and let them dry and then you can cut them up. So we'll show you the two ways to transfer these two things into the plarn. Uh, one tablecloth is plenty to make a ball, and like I said, ten of the plastic bags. Then you need a special crochet hook. Uh, we had Clover send us these really nice hooks. It's a 10 millimeter plastic hook with a silicone handle. Uh, what's really nice about these is they glide through the plastic very well. I've tried a variety of crochet hooks and they actually grab on the plastic and make it very difficult, make your hands sore and tear the plastic. These do not do that um, because of how Clover has made the head of the crochet hook. And then they're nice and comfortable with this silicone. So if you check the link uh, in the description below, you'll be able to get one for yourself. Uh, they're sometimes called the N size, sometimes P, but you can go by 10 millimeter. So you'll need that. You'll need a pair of nice scissors to cut up the plastic bags. And then the other thing that we'll be using as we create the ball, because we'll be working in the round, is you need a stitch marker. And we like to use large safety pins when we're working with thick yarn like this. Uh, that way you can mark your first stitch of every round and not get lost as you go around and around. Because we don't do any joining, we don't want any um, stray loops in there to show where we started, so we use these safety pins instead. So we're going to start our project by showing you how to make the plarn, and um, what you do first is you take your bag and you pull the little tucks that are in the bottom so that it's nice and flat as if it just came out of the roll that they use. Then you lay it down and you cut off the bottom seam that holds the bag pieces together and you save this. We have a bag here of all of the remnant pieces and that's what we use to stuff the ball. So you save those. We don't want to throw anything away. Plastic takes a long time to break down. It really never breaks down. And then you cut off the handles like so. We'll save those two. And now you have what's left of your bag. It's a nice big tube. And you can stack several of these together if you want to because they're all about the same size, especially if they're all from the same store. And then you fold them. You can fold them in half. You can fold them in half again if you have strong hands and strong scissors. And then starting here at the folded side, you cut strips, and it 
about inch and a half wide. Got a whole bunch of strips. And again, you can do several at once, so this goes quicker. And if you have a crew that can help you while they're watching TV, uh, that is great. <laughs> then you pull all these out, and now you have a whole bunch of these loops. 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 And we just happen to have a nice big bin of loops here. And everybody's going to show Yay, you. Confetti. So grab a couple loops. Now this is what you do in case you don't remember. Just grab two. <laughs> I grabbed. I grabbed that. So, you have one in your hand. Not you. And then you take the other one next to it and grab through like that and pull tight. And you pull gently. So if you wanted to lay it down on the table, you would cross one side over the other Take your hand under the first loop and pull the new loop through. You guys get that? And the, just the key is that you want it to them all to be even. They work really well with the farm, um, and overall, it's pretty easy. Stuffing it was fun too, because you can just recycle all your bits and just put them all on the inside, and then you don't have to worry about weaving in any ends. The only end I had to weave in was the last one. All right, um, I use this. Um, all three colors are from a old um, plastic tablecloth, and I really love the way it came out with all the three colors. Um, one of my favorite things about crocheting and just craft projects in general is finding neat color combinations. So I enjoyed doing that. And the pattern was pretty simple. Um, it's very easy if you've ever made a hat or anything of the sort where you have to increase and then decrease. It's, that's just about all it is. Just one stitch all the way around for the most part. So yeah, 